Hola, hola, hola. Hello, 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 my beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Vaniela, the planning diva. And guess what? I am unboxing the Happy Planners Goal Getter Mystery Bundle. I'm super excited. I picked up all three of the mystery bundles on the Black Friday, Cyber Monday um sale situation thing i am a sucker for mystery bundles because it's just so fun and exciting to get to try like a huge bundle of new things and just great ways to try out different things things that you necessarily wouldn't pick up yourself but it kind of forces you to use up some of the things that they send your way super excited about this so i'm gonna go ahead and open up this mystery bundle and unbox it with you all all right let me pull the bubble wrap off and then slide everything out. I have a trash bag right next to me so I can just start tossing some of this um, packaging as I open things up because I tend to find that if I leave things in packaging it just doesn't get used. So this is the Goal Getter Mystery Bundle, like I said, and this is the first one that I wanted. In the order of how appealing they were to me, it was the Goal Getter, followed by the Planner Basics, followed by the Floral, and I am so excited. So the first thing that we have here is stickers. We have a small sticker sheet bundle insert thing. 126 pieces and this definitely looks like old school happy planner these mystery bundles are definitely happy planner trying to get rid of some of their older stuff i think that's totally fine because a lot of the times i do enjoy their older stuff so this style reminds me a lot of like the uh, what's it called boss babe line i have a vague memory of there being an accessory pack of like the boss babe stuff this sticker bundle sheet thing is definitely from their older lines. I think it's from their Boss Babe line. I have a vague memory of an accessory pack in this style and these colors, but it's super cute. It seems it's like just a really simple um, sticker sheet full of basic stickers, essential stickers. We have boxes, bullet points. These are really functional. I do enjoy how functional happy planner it used to be but we also get some cute quotes here and that's it so this is just a little pack here and you can insert it into your planner let me pull this out actually i'll go ahead and insert this into my work planner because these are so functional um yeah this is so cute love it goal getter yeah we're definitely getting boss babe stuff this is a Ooh, I don't know what to call these. These are their old school like inserts slash stickers slash sticky notes. These are really fun. I wish that they would bring these back. I think they're really um, different from what we're seeing nowadays. I liked how it gave you these three distinct elements. It gave you a bunch of stickers and these are great stickers. There's boxes, um, little quotes, to-do lists super super functional stickers and i do enjoy the boss babe line i like the colors i like how functional things are um it's super super cute it's very chic very very boss babe um i do like the line and then we have some sticky notes and then these really interesting um, inserts so these are paper inserts and you can use them for all kinds of things they could be to-do lists they could be the jot down notes they could be habit trackers but they're super cute and yeah i wish that um, happy planner did more of these so i'm excited for these little inserts um, these are definitely going to go into my work planner i think and then we have three sticker books. Ah, so excited. What a deal this bundle is. These bundles are always just amazing deals as long as you're okay with getting a lot of the older stuff from the Happy Planner. So we have Girl with Goals sticker book. So this is that purple and black themed sticker book. I really, really enjoy the sticker book and I'm actually almost done with the one that I had. I got this a while back and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, it's great for work and so I can definitely see myself getting through another one of these 
um, Girl with Goals sticker books. I think the sticker book is really, really functional, but it's beautiful and the color palette is still muted enough for it to be professional and just a great sticker book. Ooh, this is a new sticker book for me. This is Empowering Woman and I've never had the sticker book. I don't think I've ever even seen this in stores. And again, this is some of the older Happy Planner um, sticker books, but this looks very, very functional. We have some florals. Ooh, I love these quotes. This old school Happy Planner style of quote is some of my favorite quote styles. We have some boxes, a lot of stuff, functional um, headers. Love those appointment stickers. Oh, I love those. Again, super, super functional, and I love this. Oh, this is going to be perfect for my work planner. This is amazing. I'm already in love with it. We have meal planning stickers, coffee stickers, which I love me some good coffee stickers, errand stickers, project stickers. I love how functional old school Happy Planner was. Okay, so we have Empowering Women. And then we have the accessory book for the Girl with Goals. And so this is just a sticker book slash sticky note um, accessory pad. I love this. I like using these long um, sticky, um, sticky notes as stickers. I will use this as an entire sticker. And we have some nice um, sticky notes here as well. I do like using these as stickers as well. And then for these stickers, we have full boxes, um, boxes and flags. Oh, this is amazing. This is so functional, perfect for work. Um, this is definitely going to be in my, um, in my sticker zip folio that I take to work. Oh, perfect. Habit trackers, amazing. So functional. I'm really impressed with this one, actually. I never have had this one, so I'm excited to try that one. And then we have this Mambi Sticks, a uh, 26 piece Mambi Sticks uh, sticker sheet. And I don't know why the wrapped it around some things here because it's all bent now. But again, these stickers are kind of like that Boss Babe style. Um, I love the colors. I love the quotes. I think these are super cute. These are going to be perfect for my work planner. I'm really excited. I think this bundle is going to go like directly into like my work planner setup. And then and then we have a wrong wrong dashboard trio. Ooh, I don't have this as well. This is new. New to me. And that's another thing. I think getting the mystery bundles is worth it if you didn't get into Happy Planner until uh, more recently because all of this stuff is stuff that you probably don't have. So we have three dashboards. We have this one. I love this one. It's clear. It says, girl, you're going places. And it has these three lovely women in the front here. And then we have this one. It says, hello, beautiful. I do really like the ones that are clear. Oh, and I just noticed that these have um, tabs at the top, which is fantastic. So that you, can, you, that you, can, you can use these as um, top tabs. I like this one. Very chic. It says, hello, beautiful. It has these little plus signs, crosses. Again, I really like the clear um, dashboards. And then last, we have this dashboard, and it's super cute. It's also clear, and it has all these super cute heels as well. Beautiful. And I think this one has the little film on it, so I'm going to peel that off really quick. There we go. The film is now off. Oh, no, I lied. All of these dashboards have the film on it, but it's on the back this time. Perfect. And I love that these are like fuller size dashboards. I do like the fuller size dashboards because I feel like it doesn't um, bulk up kind of on the first quarter of your planner as much as a dashboard like this, um, especially if you tend to use a lot of dashboards. I tend to use a lot of dashboards or bookmarks, whatever you want to call these. I tend to use a lot of bookmarks in my planner, and so I'll have six or seven in my planner. And if they're all this exact same size, it tends to bulk up the planner like closer to the disks. But if you have these larger um, dashboards, then the bulk doesn't like accumulate kind of like in the first third of the planner size, like next to the disk. So I'm glad that I have some full, uh, full size dashboards. Okay, and then this is an undated hourly extension, Girl with Goals. 
um, extension pack. And this is exciting because I've never had this extension pack. And I believe this is the hourly layout. So that is exciting. I've been kind of eyeing the hourly um, planners um, in the recent Happy Planner releases, but I just haven't bit the bullet. I, I haven't gotten one precisely because I feel like I don't use the hourly every single day. I don't need it every single day, but I was thinking about potentially getting an undated hourly so that I could use it um, kind of day by day and not treat it as a week, but treat it more so like just if I want to use this format to jot down a quick schedule and I don't want to take up an entire page. I just want to take up a tiny little section. So I'm excited about this. I think I'm going to incorporate some of these into my daily planner. Yay, I'm excited about this. And I think this is four months. So we have one month here, second month, third month, and then the fourth month. Oh, and then something that's interesting about this is that you have your monthly, and then you have your goal page for the month, and then you have top priority list, and then task list. So two pages of task lists. And then you have um, one week of the hourly schedule, and then you have things to follow up on, weekly focus, Wow, okay, that's interesting. So you have these pages kind of in between each week. That's so interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this. I didn't realize that this extension pack had these bonus pages in between each week. I really like that actually. I, I wish they would like show that off more because I, I've had a few hourly planners before and both, I think, undated and dated, and they didn't have these extra pages in between the weeks. And so I feel like this is potentially something specific to this um, girl with goals line, but also maybe the new um, hourly planners have this. I'm not sure. Let me know if you know. Uh, I'll probably go check this out on the Happy Planner website. Um, after this video, but that's cool because you have a lot more um, just note space and writing space in the month. And then you also have a write it down um, page, two pages of write it down and a page of upcoming projects at the end of the week. So that is really fantastic. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I'm kind of tempted to potentially move into this type of planner layout for like my new work planner at some point. We'll see. Okay, next is a block pad. This is a classic sized block pad and I don't have this, but I have eyed this before. So I'm really excited to see this and it's just a nice block pad. It's beautiful. It has this pink background. And I like this because it has a to-do list, a grid section for calls and emails, but it can be whatever you want it to be. And then just a plain box. And it just says yesterday, now, tomorrow. Oh, it's crossed out. So yesterday's crossed out, tomorrow's crossed out, and it just says now. So that's cool. This is fun. This is perfect for work. Wow, I'm so glad I got this. I'm getting really motivated. Um, to just like up my work productivity game. And then next we have a pen case here. This is a cute pen case. It's just black and white, a nice polka dot pattern, light pink on the inside. It has a nice pink band on the back. Um, this is super cute. I'm almost wondering about how it would look on my Cafecita Designs planner. Like if I put this like so and had it on the back here and I could put like stickers in here um I think that would be fun cute I kind of like it on there so we'll leave it like that and then the last thing in the box was a goals guided happy journal and this is nice because I think this is a newer product 
not super recent, but um, still relatively recent, I would say. Maybe in the last year or so. Okay, so I took all the packaging off. And um, like I said, I don't have this. So that's exciting because when you have as much Happy Planner stuff as I do, I feel like it is a little bit difficult to get a mystery bundle and not get anything um, and not get any duplicates. So I just took off all the packaging here. And this is the Goals Guided Journal. I do like the inside cover. The outside cover, it says goal, plan, repeat. Not my favorite, but um, but I think the best part of the guided journals is definitely the insides, not the covers or the dividers. So this divider has just this like ink spill type of design. It says goal getter here. And so uh, it seems like it's a pretty standard um, guided journal format. There are like four dividers. This one's super cute. I think the, oh, this one's cute too. I don't like that one. But it seems like it starts off with a monthly page. So it says month of, and then this month's focus, and then three sections for this month's big goals, and then an action um, to-do list and a reward section, which is super cool. Ooh, I do like the monthly habit tracker and then a note section, this week's goals, a grid section, write a positive quote to follow this week, important due dates this week, um, list three things that can help you achieve your goals, list three things that inspire you. And then we have a couple of daily pages. So it seems like there is a monthly page, a weekly page, and then a few uh, daily pages. The daily pages, it says, date, what is your main goal for today? Ways to help you achieve this goal. Write three positive daily reminders to yourself. One thing that made you feel hopeful today. And then list three wins from today. And it seems like the daily pages um, alternate as well because this one's different. There's still a main goal for today. But then you have these tasks, one, two, three, and then write an encouraging message to yourself. And then one thing you are grateful for today, and then two lessons that you learned today. And then it seems like there are some slight alterations um, on those same common themes and questions and prompts for the daily pages. And then you get into your monthly goal check-in, and it gives you three different boxes and a progress meter. And then it gives you a prompt for one big milestone and one area to improve. This is super interesting because every week you're checking in with your monthly goal check-in. And it gives you a daily page for every single day of the week. That is amazing. And then back again to this week's goals and then your seven daily pages followed by the monthly goal check-in, and then again, the weekly goal page, and so on and so forth. I wonder what happens at the end. Okay, at the end, there's no big monthly goal check-in. It's, it's still that same weekly monthly goal check-in, and then you have one page of dot grid. That's super interesting. I am potentially thinking of using this in combination with my fitness planner. I think that might be super cool to incorporate this into fitness. And so that was everything that was in the Goal Getter Mystery Bundle. Please let me know what you thought about this bundle in the comments. Do you think it was worth it? Do you think it was not worth it? Let me know. I think it was definitely worth it. I got two full size sticker books, one accessory pack, one sticky note and sticker and cardstock pack, a small sticker pack, a sheet of Mambi sticks, three dashboards, an extension pack, um, a block pad, and a guided journal. I mean, I think that for 33 or 35, I forget exactly how much this was. It was in the mid 30s. Um, for how much this bundle cost, I think it was definitely worth it. And I am more than happy with the Goal Getter Mystery Bundle. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe. God bless you and your family. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And I'll see you tomorrow. Feliz